MediaMail allows you to store videos in the University of Minnesota servers, unlike cloud servers, which would be used by YouTube, which could be located anywhere in the world. Instead, if you want to share a video and keep it in a server that's controlled by the university and that is a little bit more private, you can use MediaMail. MediaMail can be accessed through mediamail.cla.umn.edu-mediamail. There you'll be able to upload videos, record videos, look at projects which are a collection of videos, look at your podcast, or see your video list. In this case, we're going to access video lists and we're going to show you how to copy a URL that then you can share with your course so that they can access the video that you have uploaded. Click on my videos. Sometimes you'll have to sign in. After you click on my videos, find the video that you have that you would like to share. In this case, I could share this video by creating by sharing the instant play link. However, how do you get an instant play link? Well, when you upload a video, it will be uploaded in its original format, which is usually a file that's not streamable and only plays when you download the whole file to your computer. So the first thing we have to do is create a derivative or a version of the file that allows you to play it in a stream format so that people can play it through a browser and play the parts also that they want to play and not have to watch the whole video as well. To create a derivative, click on the plus sign. I'll go back and show that again. Click on the plus sign, it's the second icon. Add derivative. Then select the derivative you would like to make. We prefer that you create an HTML5 derivative. However, other derivatives such as Flash, Windows Media 9, Apple devices are the only are also available. In this case, I'll create a medium sized derivative, which is 500 kbps and a dimension of 480 times 270. Submit a request. It won't create the derivative automatically, it'll put you or place you in a queue list and your derivative will be created as soon as it is possible for the server to process your request. In this case, we already have one at the top that was created before. It's a QuickTime 7 large widescreen derivative. One thing to note is that if your video is public or you, will, you wouldn't mind sharing your video um, because your video is something you actually would like to share with a larger group of people, we recommend that you use YouTube because it will do this for you. In YouTube, you don't have to create derivatives individually, but rather they're all created. And when somebody accesses the video, the server sends the person that accessed the video the best version for them. In this case, however, in MediaMail, you have to create manually each derivative. So once you create a derivative, access the public playable URL. You can also embed the video on your page or submit it to YouTube or use the public download link. But for courses, we mostly use the instant play link. Click on the instant play link. Highlight the URL, copy the URL, and then add a URL to your Moodle site. And after that, then students will be able to access the video, as long as the video is set to public or X500 only. If a video is set to private, you will have to share the video individually with each student. Thanks.